Do you think of getting the Pixel 6 Pro in 2024? Well, I bought it and I got some comments. It's actually very cheap now, beyond the fact that it is more than 3 years old. But still, should you buy it? At first, when I bought it, I thought I was gonna have just about the same experience with the Pixel 7 Pro because it has the older Google Tensor chip. But it was more than just that. When you go to the network settings, you get the options to choose 5G network as the default network type. And it kept me wondering, is this just a decoration? Because I selected it, but I wasn't getting any 5G network. Like, why is it there if it doesn't even work? On their Pixel with Google website, they did mention that unlisted countries have no 5G carrier networks that work with Pixel phones. The same case with Pixel 7 Pro, it had the same issue, but they released an update and now we can select 5G networks effectively. Did you know that at one point the Pixel 6 models were dialing random contact? They called this Pixel ghost dialing. Yes, it's a real thing and you can check it out. Both of the Pixel 6 models, Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro were randomly dialing contacts without warning at all sort of times. It turned out that the bug was coming from the Google app and the Google Assistant. Okay, let's talk about the more serious issue here. The phone hits so much that you can't even touch it. And this happens when you're only doing the basic stuff like scrolling through social media. It charges slow and the battery drains fast. And the heating issue makes this even worse. On the bright side, you get a pretty good enough camera. I will let these raw unedited samples to speak for themselves. I think the one thing that they could improve now is just releasing an update that could fix the heating issue because once the heating issue is reduced, the battery could last longer I guess and it will not throttle the performance as well as we will get comfortable to use it. So if you think of getting the Pixel 6 Pro in 2024, I would suggest getting the Pixel 7 Pro instead. I made a full review about it and you can watch it here but hey, if you choose to buy it, at least we'll have a story to tell. I'll see you in the next one.